In this segment, we are going to show you how to terminate a Cat5e cable with RJ45 connectors. There are two different wiring patterns, T568A and T568B, commonly referred to as A or B. It really doesn't matter which one you choose, provided that both sides of the cable are terminated the same. For the sake of this video, we will be using pattern B. Let's start with the basic tools required. You will need a wire stripper, an optional outer jacket stripper, a crimp tool, and a set of basic testers. For this example, we will be using common tools that can usually be purchased at any home improvement store. Begin by stripping the outer jacket off the CAT5 wire. This can either be accomplished with a specialized tool such as the blue one pictured or simply use the wire stripper as shown. Once you have the outer jacket off, separate the pairs of wires into the order that they'll be crimped into the connector. As you can see, I'm straightening the wires as I untwist them. Double check to make sure that the wire order is correct. Grip the wires between your thumb and finger and pull the wires together. Make sure that they stay in the proper order. We don't want the wires to be untwisted any more than half an inch or about 12 millimeters. Use the wire cutter or your crimp tool and cut the wires at this length. Next insert the wires into the RJ45 connector taking care that the wires stay in the proper order. Take a look at the end of the connector and confirm that all of the wires are fully seated into the end. Verify that the strain relief on the RJ45 connector is above the outer jacket of the wire. Insert the RJ45 into the crimper and squeeze the crimper fully. Verify again that the wires are in the proper order and that they've seated properly in the connector. Repeat this process on the other end of the cable. A cable is not properly terminated without at least a basic test to confirm that the wiring is in the proper order and it's not open or shorted. I'm using a simple inexpensive test set that will verify these details. The test set is made up of two devices, the tester itself and the remote device. Plug one end of the cable into a tester and the other end into the remote end. Press the test button and the tester will tell you if there's a problem, the nature of the problem, and which pairs it's on. When the cable is terminated correctly, the tester will confirm that everything is okay. Keep in mind that these simple testers are not testing to make sure that the wire will properly carry data, but only confirm that the connectors are properly wired and crimped. After testing, the cables are ready for use.